the formidable robot. We thought it was done. We thought it was fucking done. No. Something had to appear that merely pushed me into the brink of eternal madness. It's been five weeks since I left Nickelodeon Studios and things were slowly stable besides the normal nightmares, insomnia and occasional psychological breakdown. It turns out that someone from Nickelodeon sent me an email containing a zip file called Confiscated SpongeBob Episode Scosvina.zip. After opening the zip file and extracting it, it contained a text file and a single picture. Wow, they never learned their lesson. This picture was the original release picture during the time, all the way back in Season 7 and replaced, what is now, a pal for Gary. Guess they wanted to release it, well they did, and it majorly backfired. According to two of the directors, Peter Shaft and Johnny Kilsberg, they reported that they've seen the original three episodes after recovering the footage from their respective places. They wanted to make an episode in the perspective of the Bikini Bottom Police. At the time, it was different. An episode not focusing on Spongebob? It was pretty big, but again, backfired horribly. Now for the moment everyone's been expecting, the episode. It started with a black and purple title card. Skosvina. I heard that name before, though it is fucking hard to pronounce. I paused the episode and looked at the artist. Horker. In the album Concrete, there is a name that's slightly familiar. Scots Nails. Close enough connection. The episode started with police and SWAT cars approaching Bikini Bottom, now in desolate ruins. Alpha to Sector, status report. One officer was heard talking in a walkie-talkie. Clear to advance. A voice was heard as the officer slowly walked through. The ground made a squish sound with each step because of the purple goo mixed with blood on the ground. Each of the officers noticed the horde of people with multiple eyes. One of them noticed the officers. They let out a hiss and charged. The guard and the person were at locks with each other. The guard's hand over the person's neck while it snarled and tried biting. The music started, a slow violin song was playing. Some people dubbed the song, Ballad of the Eldritch Beasts. A montage is shown of the officers looking around the desolate bikini bottom. The two officers, from Nasty Patty, were shown approaching the other officers. So, what happened to this city? One of the officers asked. We've got multiple reports of monstrous behavior that concern most officers. We tried to defuse the situation, but we were chased by two of the beasts. The male officer said. The female pulled out a video of the two being chased by Gibbon and on a path, with two screams heard, followed by hiss and a near-ratingly loud roar. <laughs> As the video cuts to static, the officers nod. Another montage was shown. This time, the officers were planning to fight back. The montage continued all the way up until they were by the kelp forest and all of the officers charged. However, because Gibbon and Onyctath were huge compared to the fish officers, all they could do was run and slam into. In a comedic way, Gibbon and Onyctath both started laughing, as the officers tried to fight but couldn't. <laughs> as the two finished laughing, the two slammed their feet, causing the officers to shake off. Faint screams were heard, followed by an oh-so-loud slam and squish sound. The episode ended with Gibbon and Onyxath cackling as thunder was heard, ending the episode. <laughs> Credits were changed, which surprised me. Instead of listing off the people who made the episode, it only showed a symbol, a series of triangles with a purple eye. The background music sounded like a badly played version of the credits song with an occasional piano key heard. I was just about done with this. I could finally call off on this whole entire experience. Before I do end off the series entirely, I wanna point some things out like the name of the stories called, The SpongeBob Eldritch Universe. I call it as such because it goes from a simple series of Spongebob episodes to a whole entire Eldritch universe conducted by an Eldritch cult. 
another was the pictures of Gibbon and Onyctath, as much as I would consider getting someone to draw the pictures, no one would want to listen to my story nor want to draw it because of how complicated it was. This whole AI thing I kept hearing about seemed the only way to have someone draw my fears. Finally, how am I doing entirely? After multiple therapy sessions, 20 cups of coffee, visibly no sleep, and entirely passed out on multiple occasions due to sleep deprivation. I could finally sleep, knowing that my story is finally out and for the world to see. With that, I can finally be free. Or am I entirely free?